Hello, Anyong. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, saya belum mandi lagi ni. So actually, this morning when I woke up, I just felt like, you know what? I have to do this today. Sebenarnya saya sudah plan untuk do something with my body. <laughs> Just like two years ago, rasanya. Tapi itulah macam selalu macam tiada motivasi. So you know what? Like this year, I really, really, really want to do this. So saya mau vlog it. I want to vlog this to motivate me to be more persistent and consistent. Lah, I am going to do a 90 days body transformation challenge. No gym, no supplement, no crash diet. As I said, no gym. So I don't think gym is really my thing. Saya tidak pernah pergi gym. Gym hotel pernah lah. The free gym. Tapi kalau yang the real gym, ah, tidak pernah. So I just don't have the motivation. So that's why I think I'm just gonna do home workout. And also, no, I'm not going to take any supplement. Men, yes, I know. Like there are so many supplements out there, even like protein shake to help you, you know, build muscles and all. But I'm not going to go that way. I'm gonna try to do my body transformation in a natural way. So I might change my diet. Right now, I don't have any. Like I just like eat whatever I want whenever I need or want. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I would start to control. Bukan crash diet, tapi you know, selalu orang salah faham. Selalu diet is like tidak makan. No, actually. Diet is the way you take your food. Probably I will tweak my daily diet lah, more plan, something like that. I'm thinking about doing a more protein diet, like raw protein, of course, not supplement one. Itulah dia punya plan. So I am thinking about, bukan thinking. I am doing this starting tomorrow. Yeah. So today is 24, so saya have plan of top start 25. So saya tidak dapat pre calendar this year. This morning I just like, you know what? I'm just gonna print out some calendar from the internet. <laughs> So yeah, so this is my calendar. I just print until April. The 90 days will start tomorrow, 25th January until 25th April. And I will also document my journey of body transformation challenge every two weeks. So I will upload a new video to show my progress. Macam mana if I manage to do what I plan every single day or there is a day that I just didn't do it. So there will be five progress videos. But of course lah, mungkin akan ada masa di lah mungkin not after directly after two weeks mungkin adalah beberapa hari kemudian because now the school has started and big PR has like my gosh sangat-sangat-sangat stress honestly sangat-sangat-sangat memenatkan nantilah saya sangat but terus terus I am absolutely not doing this big PR thing because the teachers are losing our privacy time macam kami sudah disuruh menjadi robot yang kena bertugas 24 hours it doesn't make sense that's why I'm going to force myself to do this 90 days challenge as a meantime as well so saya tidak terlalu fokus untuk buat kerja sekolah saja which is very stressful so I want to distract myself I am going to do this 90 days challenge I will try to find a way and time for this and tomorrow will also be a very big challenge for me sebab esok saya akan bertugas sebagai ketua pengawas pentaksiran yes for PKSK for today 25th and 26th it's gonna be a really really rough day so probably I will have to force myself to do my exercise tomorrow at night sebab saya akan bertugas so 7:30 a.m. until 4:30 p.m. and I am the ketua, so I have to be early and probably the last one to leave. Macam pengawas PS Arahan. Ah, never mind. So the plan first, of course, I want to start home workout. I'm just gonna do like very basic things, simple workouts. The first workout I'm going to force myself to do is push-ups because I really want to build my up body, honestly. Because I always feel like I have like. <laughs> flat chest I don't have that much of pecs and I always want to have like a nice pec that is my main focus like I will force myself to do at least 100 push-ups a day how am I going to do it I will do three sets of push-ups setiap kali lepas solat there are five times a day three sets of push-ups with 10 reps so 30 kali 5 berapa 30 60 90 so Ah, never mind. I'm bad with numbers. If I manage to do every time after solat, of course I could manage to do the 100 push-ups a day. And tapi tomorrow I will be in school for the whole day. So Zohor and Asar probably I I'm not gonna be able to do my push-ups. So the first target I will just like set for 100 push-ups a day for the first week. Maybe next week I will up the game. Of course lah, kita tidak boleh you know just like went straight to do heavy stuff while you haven't really 
actually worked out for so long. Yeah, so, well, honestly, I haven't been exercising for a month plus. Look, masa cuti sekolah saya di kampung, masa saya tak ada buat apa-apa. Not even push up. So, yeah, I'm going to push myself. And, yeah, I'm not just going to do a simple push up. I'm thinking about inclined push ups. Yeah, let's see if I can do that. And then, the second workout will be jump squat. <laughs> Kenapa tidak squat sejak? Yeah, <laughs> since last Thursday, bila saya rakam video PDPR untuk PJ tu. And then, when I was editing the video, I was like, oh my gosh, I have a chicken leg. Kaki saya kecil. So, I am very insecure about my legs right now. Since I can wait so much, badan saya sudah mengembang sekarang. Honestly, I am 82 kilogram right now. Yeah. <laughs> the heaviest I've been. I don't know about my waist right now. Satu lagi kerisauan saya untuk esok ialah I don't know if I could fit into my work pants. Hmm. Tak salah lepas ni try cari seluar mana yang boleh muat. <sighs> Wish me luck guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do jump squat. So, uh, I tried to do squat before, tapi mm -hmm. macam tidak best saya rasa bosan lah buat squat. And I love to jump. <laughs> so, I am thinking about doing a jump squat instead. So, let's do 20 a day first. Jangan rapuh sangat lah 20 a day and then probably I would like up my game every week. So, let's see how it goes. Okay, so that will be the workout that I want to do every single day. Saya akan buat setiap hari in day that off day lah. And then, the other workouts, I will try to force myself to work out every weekdays as well. It's Nen sampai Jumaat. So, five days a week. On weekends, it's gonna be like my off day. Saya tidak akan buat apa-apa like my resting day. It's weekend after all. So, saya tidak mau buat video sekolah. Saya tidak mau work out as well. So, for the five days, saya akan ganti-ganti. Untuk hari Isnin, Rabu, dan Jumaat, I'm thinking about doing weight lift Thing, wait to think of. I have dumbbell yang saya baru beli hujung tahun lepas I also have workout bench so saya plan mau buat dumbbell bench press and then second one is incline dumbbell bench press for the beginning lah dan mungkin saya akan tambah another workout later and then I also gonna do pull ups sebab saya ada pull up bar I'm just gonna do things that I already have at home and then on Tuesday on Thursday I'm gonna do cardio instead I have to lose my fat as well <laughs> Especially this area, terlalu banyak sudah babat ni sekarang. So I'm thinking about Zumba. <laughs> So, Zumba daripada YouTube and last year there was one time before all the COVID thing happened here in Malaysia. Actually, saya ada sekali tu lah saya pernah kena suruh untuk menonton aerobik di sekolah. So I actually train a few routine of simple aerobik, more like a simple Zumba. I think I could still remember those steps. So yeah, I'm gonna do those simple Zumba on Tuesday and Thursday plus 10 minutes jump rope. Yeah, and actually I am also thinking about doing Tabata. Tapi Tabata kan saya tengok video pun sudah saya rasa penat. So slowly lah, I will start with Zumba first and then gradually I will try to do the HIIT the high intensive of our neck too. So that's the plan. Five days a week, three days of weightlifting, and two days of cardio. About my diet, itu saya masuk sama cakap lah. <laughs> but yeah, I am trying to reduce my carbs intake and increase my protein intake. All by natural food lah. And I will try to avoid processed food as well. That's the plan. And to be completely honest, I'm really missing to do cover videos as well. Tapi itulah. I don't know when I will be having time to do my next cover video. So, so that I pilih satu lagu. Itulah. It's been very, very busy days and looking like the busy days is stretching out. So, but honestly, PDPR lah. So, yeah. Kalau ada siapa-siapa parents di luar sana yang menonton video ini dan merasakan cikgu-cikgu ni suka buat PDPR sebab dapat relax di rumah, you are wrong. I'm just telling you this now. I know this doesn't have anything to do with this video. Ni sekadar saya just mau meluah sikit lah lebakan. I think most of the teachers including me doesn't really like the idea of PDPR as well sebab like I said earlier lah it turns us the teachers more like a robot because we have to work 24 hours stress eh, stress ke lah ni stress je cakap so just hopefully everything's gonna get better in time you know with the pandemic maybe there is another solution to PDPR hoping there will be yang saya paling stress bila kadang-kadang tu keluar kenyataan kami mau meringankan beban guru but actually 
whatever they are asking us to do bukan meringankan beban tapi menambahkan beban so yes I am very stressed right now so that's why I cannot wait this any longer I need to do this 90 days body transformation challenge to distract myself from all this stress because I already feel like I am starting to get the early stage of depression yeah I am very depressed with my workloads right now Uh, okay, so I think that's all for now for this video. Wish me luck in juggling between work life and personal life. I really, 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 really miss my old life, honestly. Like, I really, really, really need my personal life, my personal time, my privacy time. <sighs> Hopefully, when I dedicate myself to this 90 days body transformation challenge, I will manage to force myself to get my me time, my privacy time. So, yeah. Yeah. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Jangan lupa tunggu saya punya progress video every two weeks. I will try to do my best to make it happen. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna show you my before. You know, as you can see like right now, this is my current body. <laughs> Only on my last video, I will reveal my before and after picture for comparison. Yang biasanya memang orang buat lah. So hopefully I will change to a better person in 90 days. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe of course you have to subscribe me if you want to follow my progress and of course feel free to join me as well sama-sama lah kita buat this 90 days body transformation challenge and see how we progress each day kan? <laughs> so that's all for now bye-bye